So here's my uh, tidied up diagram and we've made quite a few steps forward in terms of uh, defining the architectural structure, the way I've broken this down into components. Um, we know which components can talk to other components um, and you can see that by, the, by these connection lines on the flow ports. Um, we now want to refine that a little further and provide even more richness to that description uh, and to do that I'm going to define the signals which can actually flow down those, uh, those connectors between the flow ports. Uh, to do that, I need to go back to my block definition diagram. And um, onto the block definition diagram, I'm going to add the definition of a sing signal. This is the thing which uh, flows down the connectors between flow ports. Again, that's under the model elements uh, uh, section of the palette. So I'm going to name this. I usually like to uh, include in the name, uh, you, know, uh, you know, an indicator that it's a signal. Although you, that that should be explicit from the um, it, 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 by context, but I find that's useful. And I'm going to call this one um, is related to the microwave emitter, and this will be the signal which you send when you want to switch that emitter on. There's the first signal. Um, I'm just going to create another one to switch the signal to switch the microwave cavity off. Um, I'm also just uh, for neatness going to colour code these uh, just so that it's m clear that these are different from the other sorts of blocks on this screen. So I'm going to highlight both of those and just set them green. Um, do notice, however, that although I've um, given these names, microwave emitter on and microwave emitter off, which suggests a connector with this microwave emitter over here, note that at this point in the model, um, there's nothing specifically which ties these together. At the moment, these are distinct items, and I've got to do another step uh, to associate one with the other. <laughs> 